Good morning, folks. The earth facing quiet has set in and is dominating. We've got news from beneath our feet all the way to Orion, including the weather, solar analysis, the latest from Juno, and more. We'll start, as always, with the sun, bright umbral fields above sunspots appearing and turning into face earth. But when we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find very little activity in 193 angstroms. No eruptions, no flashes in Earth's direction. We've got a calm star, and that's indicated as well by the solar flaring. The X-ray flux is flatlining, and the sun is going back to sleep. Sunspots on the disk are either small or without magnetic mixing potential. Solar wind telemetry is up next. The intensified streams from coronal holes continue. Speed still above average, and even though we drop down below global magnetic storm levels, everything from isolated electrical disruptions to electrical fires and a nationwide Comcast phone outage took place yesterday. Departing coronal hole set those streams our way. Next one incoming down bottom left. The earthquakes are settling back with the top rumble hitting the rare Central African region yesterday. However, a bit of news from that day the quake watch peaked and six pointers hit Ecuador and Tonga. Guatemala was getting active again as well. That's Santiaguito here, ash eruption reaching a few kilometers high, so that July 10th to 11th period was indeed the lithospheric disruption peak of this round. Up next is Juno, the first image is sent back here with it in orbit at Jupiter. Honestly, I'm expecting much better shots than this one, so let's have patience and head out further to Orion. We have a new deep infrared look at one of the most amazing celestial features visible from our little blue rock. Apart from the beauty, the main reason we have a story here is that there are far more small stars and even planet mass objects found that were not seen before. In fact, there may be more of those than any other objects there. Lots of rogue objects to be sure. Okay folks, here's the East Pacific, active now, and expected to be active for days on end. One storm after another is set to pop up and then rush westward at Hawaii. At least three more storms could be formed within the next week. All right there. Island residents just keep a weather eye on the horizon. Rough weather back on the continent continued as well. Flooding, tornadoes, and risks to health and infrastructure at nearly every turn. More is likely heading for the plains and Midwest tonight. These morning news, our full suite of websites, the Mobile Observatory, Observing the Frontier, and the Disaster Prediction app are all supported by SuspiciousObservers.org. Click Become a Member for the entire corpus of the observers for about $4. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the global weather here, including Earth spots straddling South America. Very pretty. Followed by shots of our star to close, it's 3.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.